Many Final Fantasy fans were expecting a one-to-one -one remaster of the original Final Fantasy VII when the remake project was first announced back in 2015. However, when Square Enix began showing more information on it, and once players finally got their hands on it, they realized that it was more than just a remaster. It was pretty much a completely different game with the traditional turn-based combat that many fans knew and loved gone and replaced with a more action style of combat. With Final Fantasy VII having five spin-off series ranging from 30 years before the events of the original Final Fantasy, with the mobile battle royale game The First Soldier, all the way to three years after the events of Final Fantasy VII with Dirt Cerberus, the most loved game in the Final Fantasy VII compilation. Right, guys? Right? Nope, nope, no, 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 no. There hasn't really been any way to play these games to experience a full compilation story. Like with Before Crisis, it was only released in Japan and never made its way to the States. However, you can see the entire playthrough on YouTube if you want to do that. And Dirge of Cerberus was released back on the PS2 and hasn't been spoken or seen of since. And it wasn't until very recently that Square Enix remastered Final Fantasy Crisis Core, previously only on the PSP for current gen consoles. With Final Fantasy VII Remake supposedly being the final chapter in the compilation story, we need a way to experience the full story that has been told throughout the years. Final Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis is taking every part of the Final Fantasy VII compilation and making it accessible to everyone who has a mobile phone. You will be able to play through each compilation, the Cliff Notes versions at least, and get the full understanding of the story and world that has been built over all these years. This might also give us some insight and ideas as to where the Remake Trilogy could be going as well. Ever Crisis uses character assets from Remake and more than likely the upcoming sequel Rebirth, which will give us a look at what Sid, Kate Sith, and Vincent could look like and how their attacks look as well. But will playing Ever Crisis be essential to the story of the Remake make trilogy well probably not Toriyama, the co-director of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, said this in an interview. We have made the preparations so that players who did not get a chance to play the first game can fully enjoy Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Would I recommend playing Ever Crisis before playing Remake or Rebirth? Personally, I'd say yes, but only because I love the world of Final Fantasy VII and want everyone to experience all of it but it's definitely not needed. There are some nods and cheeky moments for the players who have played the OG and the compilations scattered throughout the games, but I think the remake trilogy stands on its own. If you want to know more about certain characters and why they could be important in the story going forward, then yeah, I'd say play through the compilation. Just know it's not needed by any means. With Ever Crisis 1 being on mobile phones and 2 keeping stories short and only showing the most important parts of each compilation, it will make going back much more accessible and digestible. Many, many people love the over-the-shoulder style of Dirge of Cerberus. So I think this likely that this in particular could be altered in some way to not make it so gross to play. Anyone not in Japan when Before Crisis came out will now be able to learn more about the Turks and their doings six years before the events of Final Fantasy VII. The most shocking thing about Ever Crisis is that we'll be able to play through the events of the CG movie Advent Children when Sephiroth's little lackeys search for their mommy. And remember that mobile battle royale game, The First Soldier? Well, we will get to play through the events of that as the three main characters we saw in the trailer for that game and learn a bit more about the backstory of Sephiroth. So to wrap this up, do I think you need to play the compilation to fully understand what's going on? Nah, not at the moment. But will it make for a better understanding of the deeper story and lore of Final Fantasy VII? Yeah, probably if you care about every little detail, but it definitely isn't needed. Plus, it being completely free on a device that about 99% of the people have, it won't be difficult to pick up and play a few chapters here and there if you want. I personally will be playing Ever Crisis because I'm a huge FF7 nerd and love the world and lore of this game. And I'll be able to play some games that I've never had a chance to play before. I'm looking at you before Crisis. So let me know in the comments, are you planning on playing Ever Crisis we be playing the whole compilation or just a few of the games that you've missed in the past. And if you could like the video to let me know if you like the video, it helps me out a lot. And be sure to subscribe for more Final Fantasy content. Thanks for watching. Peace.